I, I promise I'm, I'm not going to take that much time. Uh, my name is Peter Eichel. Uh, I grew up in Beaver Harbor and now retired in the Spry Bay. Uh, the uh, many, many issues have been raised. Some of the issues you've, you've uh, addressed. My background is in planning. I was a town planner for 18 years in environmental planning. So readings like this, with lots of controversy about issues, are, are not uncommon to me. I know I know what's going on on both sides of this, and I often help communities try to come to resolution of some of those issues. One of the issues, that, and this has come up many many times in, in development proposals that I've dealt with, uh, and often one of the biggest issues is the traffic and impact on a community. That's been raised, and I can really appreciate how you might be concerned about that. Uh, and I don't know this is a solution, but I'm going to offer it as a suggestion. Don't take people out to the site by vehicle. Uh, and I don't know whether this fulfills the need to have people visit the site, but I know there are many, many people, and some friends of mine, who are in the whale watch business. And, and none of those people drive out to see whales. Uh, they all go by boat. And, and in many cases, those boats are operated by local fishermen. So just as a suggestion, uh, maybe forget the idea of building parking lots if that's what they, you intend to do. Uh, shuttle buses or other traffic. And simply limit the number of people that can go there and limit them to people who are qualified or, or in whatever way you choose to do it, to take people out by low impact boats, whether it's kayaks, uh, rowboats, sailboats, or whatever. So I, I don't really have much more to offer. There's too many issues here to deal with. But, uh, you know, I think a lot of people have, have certainly made their decisions about this based on perception and based on real concerns. Those are real concerns. And I would disregard those by any stretch. Uh, but it's not over until you looked at all of the options for addressing those concerns. Traffic it comes to mind. I'm sure there are others that I could come up with. Uh, but that's the one thing that I don't know. I don't know if that's a, a make or break issue, but I'm offering it as a, as a suggestion. And I thank you very much, and I really hope that uh, I mean, even if you even if you really don't want this, that you at least get an opportunity to, to look at those issues and and see if you can find the answers. And and it's a very emotional thing. I'm sitting here listening to this, and I'll tell you, I get quite emotional. I get emotional because of the of the controversy, the conflict. I don't like that. It makes me very uncomfortable. And I like I would like to see people sort of take that oppor this opportunity and, and the opportunities that, come, that are coming forward to see if you can kind of deal with some of those issues. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Before, before the next person starts, let me take a few minutes to respond to that and really to ask a question. Because I think this gentleman does have some experience that obviously we can all benefit from. For us to consider going forward, there has to be a next step about how we discuss the issues that have been raised tonight and how we create solutions if there can be. He suggested one, someone else suggested others a few minutes ago, all of them are possible. But somehow we would need to create a committee of some people from Mashaboom to work with a committee of some other people, whether they're from Sheet Harbor or whatever, not a big committee, maybe three from each, six, seven people, with whom we would sit and meet around the table, roll up our sleeves, go through all these questions and concerns, and see if there is a path forward. 
without that, I don't see how you do how, how anyone goes forward. I mean, there has to be some means to figure out whether there is a way to respond to the concerns all of you have. And if we can't, we can't. But to decide that without some kind of a committee that meets hand in hand with us, and we roll up our sleeves, we don't do that over an hour. We spend some days at it and really figure out whether there's something we can do that enables or allows a project like this to happen. But if the answer is, we don't want to be part of a committee at all, then that is an answer as well. And we've heard that in certainly in some of the responses so far. But following on what you've just suggested, that strikes me as something we would be interested and we would be prepared to try to do. But it does take, for lack of a better term, in this case, three to tango. But you know, we would have to get together and try to do that. So I just, not at this moment, but hopefully before this evening is over, I ask you to consider that and somehow convey to us if that is a possibility. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. 